Croy? I don't know. We lost him. Can you help us? Do you know where he might be? No, I wouldn't know. We got a car just around the corner. We're going straight to his home. Can we give you a lift, Miss Harris? How did you know my name? We know a great deal about Private McCoy. And we know a great deal more before tonight's over. Come on. Shall we go? Waste any time, do you? Me, man? Never. Come with me to the Casbah. Where does she come from? She's been there all the time, man. Ever since she piled into the short, back there in old Newtown. Who is she? Will it matter when we are alone? She's Fred. She's Fred? Fred? Me? Frankie. G'day, mate. Listen, what's going on here? Hey, Fred. Frankie baby here's on the run from the army feds. I know. You think I heard nothing all through that lovely burn? So isn't he right for tonight? Darling, he'd be right for any night. But tonight, baby, tonight, he's perfect. Corporal. What's that, a fancy dress turn? Fancy dress. Fred the guy says fancy dress. Doesn't he know? This isn't fancy dress, man. This is for real. And you're the pigeon. <laughs> I got myself caught up with a nut, have I? It's either us or the MPs, man. And besides, we need you. You're more than just our guest. You are our guest of honor. Don't you want to be needed? Yeah. Well, thanks for the lift. From here on, I can look after myself. Hold it, man. You're uh, familiar with the geography around here, like you know the layout. Paddington, isn't it? I'll be all right. This is Constantinople. That's what? Up there, Dad. Constantinople. Turkey, darling. You ought to get yourselves looked at, you two. Frankie! Look, the army feds are after you. On the streets, where are you? They'll pick you up. Where can you hide? In there, you'll be safe. I mean it, man. That's my place, my pad, see? In there, you'll be out of sight. That means you're safe. Well, can you do better? Okay. Look, I've got some thinking to do. It doesn't sound too quiet up there. Quiet? Oh, man, it's like a tomb. Come on. Sort of psychedelic term. Sort of what? Oh, sorry. I guess you haven't caught up to this bit in Newtown yet. Unless they hadn't caught up to us yet. Hey, what's all this Constantinople bit? Darling, look at me. Don't you see? Yeah, I see plenty. <laughs> well, here we go. Being a man, don't tell me you object to that. Give him time to get used to it, chick. Bobby! Hey! Hi! Hey, so what sort of party is this? Does it matter? You get lost in this and your army cops don't have a hope in hell of finding you. Isn't that what you want? Yeah, I suppose so. Hey, you okay? I'm just belting up. Tonight? No. No, I'm all right. You don't have to worry. 
<laughs> Soon I wish that I could think they muck my head up good and proper. Hello, oh, darling. Hello, Bowie. How old's that, Jerry? Food and all that look after? Yeah, I went out and bought four more loaves of bread. Plenty of cheese. Yeah. Oh. Ah, then we got a swinging time. Oh, is that what you call it? Oh, check, meet uh, Frankie, Frankie, Karen, Karen, Frankie. Can I get you a drink? Mm -hmm. A drink? Oh, yeah, wouldn't you, Ben? <laughs> hey, Jerry! Be right with you, Nick. Oh, love, look after our guest, will you? And uh, treat him gently. The guy's not orientated yet. <laughs> Be with you in a minute, man. You haven't been to one of Jerry's parties before, have you? No. Hey, listen, I might see things with these lights really moving. <laughs> no, you're not seeing things. It's part of the psychedelic. I'll turn them off if they worry you. Oh, thanks. Well, can I get that drink? It couldn't make me feel any worse. Oh, come on. The party's switched on. Sure, man, aren't they always? Yes, but the significance of the occasion mustn't be lost. Good, Julian, he's gone all serious on us. <laughs> Julian's always serious. Yeah, well, one has to be, otherwise, what's the point? The point is, man, we need a grog. Karen's looking after that for you, like always. See you, pal. Ah, oh, thanks, Jerry. Jerry, tell Frankie what it's all about. He's confused. Yeah, well, I can't say I blame him. Must look as if he's landed on another planet. Hey, Karen! Hey, you lost, man. Look, you got some other room somewhere quiet where I can be by myself, is that all right? Oh, not yet, man. I want them to know about you. Jerry! Jerry, baby, where did you find this beautiful picture? Give him time, Lisa. So beautifully rough. Hang on, man. <laughs> A pause while you slobs listen, right? Well, it's no what? Listen to the story of an ethnic folk hero, Frankie Baby McCoy. Tonight, we have in our midst a genuine dissenter. Another dissenter. Get up here, Frankie. Share the platform with old Jerry Dooley. Yeah, get up here. Ethnic folk hero. I give you Frankie McCoy, on the hook from the military gendarmes. A fugitive from the British Army. Yay! This one's for real marvellous. Can anything be more appropriate to this occasion? So! But this man, this splendid rebel against hostile authority, is unaware of the significance of this gathering. Friends, shall we shed light on his ignorance? Yes. Yeah. All together, then, what is the date? No, no, no. What is the date of November? Yes. yes! What is the year? 1918! Before my time, dear. <laughs> you dig it now? So you celebrate now, Mr. Stace. Celebrate? Oh. Oh. Celebrating, oh. man. Giving it significance. Yeah. A sort of wake for the defeat of the Turks and Germans. Mm. Yes. We're staging our protest oh, no. against the war. Oh, no. This is a protest. But of course, we're demonstrating that soldiers of all nations can live happily together. Great lot of soldiers you mobbed, mate. Yeah, but you see the point. The point is, man, that we're holding this get-together in Constantinople because that's where the birds are the most decorative. And what's better than decorative birds? And there's more point than ever now that you're here, the rebel against war, who's prepared to stand up for his principles. Well, just leave me out of it, right? Yeah, cut the earnest bit, Julian. Tonight's fun night. Oh, one has to be earnest. Oh, give us a kiss, eh? Oh, hopeless. <laughs> Friends, the weapons of war are piled outside. The time has come to burn them. Burn the weapons of war! David, the march music. I can find the ready record. Hey, where's the fire? Hey, where's for me? You see how it is? Well, what is? Well, the world in its present condition, one has no choice. The establishment must be opposed. A real kids' party. Some of them know it and some don't. It doesn't have to be a kids' party. Uh, someone took my drink. I'll get you a drink. Change that music for something a little less martial, darling. It's way, love. Where's the beer? Beer? Constantinople? Oh, yeah, it's a great game. Where is it? Right Paddington turns only the more mindless birds drink beer, trying to show they're different. Oh, we're back in Paddo, are we? Are you really an army deserter? 
After that, you're learning far. Much better for you than this. Learning, am I? Learning what? You know who I am, don't you? I heard the gink who brought me here call you Lisa. I'm your girl for tonight. <laughs> you know what you can do. <laughs> Naturally, darling. Get lost, will you? Oh, darling. Oh, <laughs> what, darling? You're going to be even better than I thought. Listen. Listen, I'll tell you something about me and birds. I'm through with a lot of them. What did she do to you? Who? A girl. The one who made you such a beautifully primitive, angry man. There must be a girl. Margie? You mean you got Margie out there in your car? That's all right, Mr. Patterson. She's sweating out there for my mate. Well, look, I don't get it. Don't get what? Why is Margie mixed up in this? Oh, well, she was with McCoy when we tried to arrest him. Oh. Well, she was still there uh, when we got back after he escaped. So we offered her a lift. Yeah, I see. Well, thanks for the cooperation, Mr. Patterson. All I've done is let you look over my hotel. Mm, that's what I mean. Well, it's clean, isn't it? There's no sign of McCoy, was there? No, none. Well, there's nothing else I can tell you. If Frankie's cleared out, I don't know where he's gone or where he's likely to go. I haven't got a clue, right? Sure, but he was here at one time. Did I deny it? No. Well, thanks again for the help. Uh, where are you going now, taking Margie home? Well, we'll call her Mrs. McCoy first. Hey, just a minute. Who told you to come here looking for him? I'm the Provo Captain. Who told him? Just obeying orders, Mr. Patterson. Good night, sir. Orders. You couldn't expect him to tell you. Someone put Frank in last night, and whoever it was knew he was staying here at this pub. Oh, poor Frankie, tonight of all nights. Hey, He got away from him, didn't he? Yes, but now he's really on the run. Away from all his friends. Yeah, maybe he can't be too sure of all his friends. Tonight, he and Margie were going to fix everything. Maybe Margie did. Margie? Margie gave him away. The way she feels about him now? No, I suppose you're right. But someone did, Peg. Somebody dobbed him in. Well, it wasn't Margie. Yeah. He got away from you? Yes, Mrs. McCoy. So it's still going on. Well, we've got here sooner to tell you, only we drove around the area first on the chance of seeing him. Will you sit down? Thank you. Thank you. Margie, would you like a cup of tea? Margie? What? Oh, sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Thought you might like to make yourself a cup of tea. No, I'm all right. Would you rather go home now? I'll stay till they've gone. Is that the only reason you came here? To tell me my son got away from you tonight? We hoped you might be able to help us. If you could give us the names of people he knows, his friends, you know, names and addresses, that sort of thing. Oh, he's a lonely boy, Frankie. Doesn't make many friends of his own age. Never has done. Well, anyone at all, Mrs. McCoy. Mick Patterson. He has the hotel down the road. He'd be as close a friend to Frankie as anyone. We've already been there. That's one of the reasons we took so long getting here. We spoke to Mr. Patterson and his niece, Miss... Miss Clancy. They said they hadn't seen him. And Mr. Patterson let us look through the hotel. Where else could he go? Well, there are all the lanes. Lanes? They're all over Newtown. Twists and turns, Frankie knows them all. We found that out. That's how we lost him. Anyone else, Mrs. McCoy? Oh, this young Greek boy, Demetrius G and... Uh, I'm no good at these foreign names. Well, if you could just tell us where we can find this boy. Well, he works at a place in King Street called Tony's Cafe. You could talk to him. He probably knows more about Frankie's habits than I do. Well, there's Jack Kelly. He's an older man, but a good friend to both of us. He lives in Denison Stop Street. It. Don't you realize what you're doing? Yes, Margie, I do know. You could be giving Frankie away if you keep on telling them these things. Margie, I've already given him away. You what? I was the one that told the army. Told them where they could find him. When he went to meet you tonight. <laughs> you who told the MPs? Did it have to be when he was meeting me? Do you mind if I talk to Margie alone for a minute? Is it about McCoy? Well... Come on. 
All right, Mrs. McCoy, we'll wait out in the hall. I couldn't be sure when he'd be here or when he'd be at the hotel. The only time and place I could be sure of was when he was meeting you. Same place, same time. That was one of our fondest sayings. Well, it's a joke now, isn't it? A joke's on us, Frankie and me. I'm sorry I didn't want him to think it was you. I didn't think of that. Better he thinks as he does. I'm only his girl. You're his mother. Margie, he couldn't have gone on all his life as he was, always running. But he's really running now. You wanted him in the army. You wanted him to go back. Not this way. I wanted to help. Yes, he needed help. Help from his girl, from his mother, from anybody close to him. You call this help? All the things that had happened had, had shocked him, so that he was ready to face up to his responsibilities. That's what I wanted to make sure he did. He was ready to do it himself. Last night, I was getting through to him. Tonight, I might have convinced him. Tonight, he might have agreed to give himself up. Now, after what you've done, that chance is gone. I'm sorry, Margie. You'd better let them in. Don't worry, Miss Harris. We'll find him, and the army will still straighten him out. What do you know about him? What do you care about him? We care about him because it's our job to find him. Yes, your job to find him, to hound him. Now, just a just minute. a name and a number. That's all he is to you. Oh, I admit it. I thought that being called into the army might do Frankie some good. But now I know that there are some people who can't be pushed into pigeonholes, and Frankie's one of them. Oh, yes, you go ahead and do your job. You've got all the information you want, but don't expect any help from me. Margie. one must have a voice for every shade of opinion. Do we have it here? Where is the voice of the unfettered thinker? Do we hear it in either of our major parties? Well, you know what I'm in favor of, apartheid. Apartheid? That's just, oh, slavery by legislation. Well, that's the policy made, apartheid. No, it's a fascist retrogression. Anyway, we must report. Aren't you well? What? You look sick. Yeah, I'm a bit sick. Can I get you something? An aspirin or distant or something? It's hot in here. I've had this built up and I feel busy. Maybe you shouldn't drink so much. It's probably all right. Ah, I see. Jerry. Oh, hold it, Fred. What's the matter, man? I'm feeling so good. Oh, it's all this drug and the built up I told you about. Hey, you better take it easy. Have you got a quiet room somewhere where I can lie down? Sure, man. The bedroom's over there. Oh, if nobody's there before you, give it a go. Think you can make it? Yeah. Thanks, Jerry. Jerry, baby, come In a minute, Fred. No. Hey, don't knock my beautiful living room furniture. Living room? You gotta store it somewhere when there's a turn on, man. All right, Fred, a little patience. Feeling bad. 
really bad? I can make you feel better, can't I? Come on. Is that nice? I've seen you hear what I told you before. I only came in to see if I could help. All right. I told you once. I'll tell you again. This time, let her get through. I've got a hate on birds, all birds, so will you go and leave me alone? What did she do to you, Frank? You just go and build up all this hate. What did she do? Look, my head's sore and I feel sick, so will you get out and leave me alone? You must have done something big to build up all this. What can you do with you being on the run from the army? Right on target, Lisa. I've got it, haven't I? I've hit it. She tried to turn you in. A girl like that doesn't deserve a man. Not a man like you. I wouldn't do that. Thank you. Look at me. You like the way I look? Uh, what's it, man? I like the way you look. I like all the things about you. I'm not so bad, am I? No, not so bad. I'll tell you what we'll do. First, I'll help you get even with this girl. You want that, don't you? I don't know what I want. You want to kiss me, don't you? Don't you? Step number one. Now you've got to get better. You want to go away. Right away. We could go together. Look, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I want to do. Do? I know what to do. Baby, I've been looking for someone like you. I'll look after you. We could go away. We could go up north where it's warm and hot, or south where it's cold and cozy. Yes, the snow. 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 Myra, I'm like Lisa. I didn't mean to do it. Jane, you are sick. Two way out. See you again. Then you're back. Party's over, isn't it? Yeah. You just in time to see Jerry before he takes Barbie home. Barbie? What happened to Fred? Well, Barbie is Fred. He calls all his girls Fred, then he can't get them mixed up. He doesn't call you Fred. No. Perhaps he doesn't get me mixed up. Oh, the cops has revived. Yeah. What did you do to Lisa? I didn't do nothing to her. Well, whatever he did, I bet she asked for it. That's a funny thing. She's always asking. Well, nothing's happened to her, has it? No, man, you're the only one that can answer that. She's still here? Gone, man, like all the rest. Well, Jerry, come on. Yeah, park yourself in the wheels, Fred. I'll be right out. Oh, don't be long. Back to center. Yeah, good night. Uh, good night, Karen. Goodbye, Bobby. Hey, Chick. You made that sound kind of final. Did I? That Chick. Sometimes she's psychedelic. She's what? Listen, man, I gotta drop old Fred back Newtown where she happens to be staying. You pad down here, right? Look, Jerry, there's lots of things I haven't told you about. Get so the... later we'll chat out the whole bit. You've told me you're on the run from the army feds. Will they look for you here? All right, Chick, fix Frankie Baby your mattress, right? Right. Stay inside the pad, keep your nose off the streets, and you're safe. See ya, pal. Stay inside the streets. Pat and kick your nose off the streets and you're safe. You're like in a prison. <laughs>